Hi, I'm Michael Schmidt and I will tell you something about our latest submission to New Journal of Physics. Vibrational modes and solid state structures are a promising candidate for continuous variable quantum information processing. They feature long coherence times and many of them can be integrated on micron sized silicon chips. In this paper we propose and analyze an optomechanical scheme that enables quantum operations on a set of localized vibrational modes. It allows to entangle modes transfer quantum states between them, and prepare squeezed quantum states. All these operations are controlled by simply modulating the driving laser intensity. Let us now briefly review the well-known optical spring effect. This is the basis for our scheme. Imagine a laser-driven cavity with movable end mirror. Changing the position of the mirror alters the cavity's resonance frequency, which affects the light intensity circulating inside the cavity. The light exerts a radiation pressure force on the mirror, which is proportional to the light intensity. Thus, the force depends on the position of the mirror. Under certain conditions, this force can be expressed as the derivative of a conservative potential. Now assume that the motion of the mirror can be modeled as an harmonic oscillator. We can easily incorporate this into the potential picture by adding an harmonic potential to the radiation pressure potential. The motion of the mirror is thus governed by an effective potential which is the sum of the harmonic and radiation pressure potential. The effective potential features a global minimum in which the mirror will settle. To describe small fluctuations around the minimum, we expand the effective potential to second order and recover an harmonic potential. However, the slope of this parabola is steeper than the original one, meaning that the mirror feels a stiffer spring constant. On a global perspective, the interaction with the light field stiffens the spring constant of the mirror. This phenomenon is called optical spring effect. Now suppose we have two vibrational modes that both couple to the same optical mode. Then the optical spring effect manifests as stiffening of the center of mass mode. As you see, this induces a xx coupling between the modes. This coupling is effective if the modes are in resonance. We are interested in frequency selective operations. Thus, we have modes of different frequency leading to an inefficient coupling. However, there is a simple trick to make it resonant. Modulate the coupling in time. This parametrically pumps the system and the interaction can become effective. In our setup, this can be done by modulating the driving laser intensity, since that modulates the optical spring effect. For different modulation frequencies, different parts of the interaction become resonant. Here you see a schematic diagram of the resonance regions for three vibrational modes. They are plotted against the laser modulation frequency and the driving strength. A mode is squeezed inside the red cones. The green cones correspond to entanglement creation. For two weak laser intensity, dissipation prevents operations. For medium intensity, dissipation is overcome and resonance regions emerge. By adjusting the laser modulation frequency, operations can be selected. For two high intensity, the cones overlap and selectivity is lost. In our paper, we extend this into a fully scalable optomechanical architecture. 